Hello, Embedded Engineers, Developers, and Pros. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, Embedded Insights, the weekly news show all about embedded technologies and solutions from embedded computing design. It's Friday, September 19th, 2025, and I'm Ken Briota, Editor-in-Chief of Embedded Computing Design, and these are our top stories this week. First up, we're having a smart farming revolution. All over the world, food is being solved by smarter farming. And in a recent column from Zeno Galchev at Analog Devices, uh, he details how inertial sensing is driving precision and productivity in agriculture all over the world. So take a look at that column. Our next story comes from Vichay Intertechnology, which recently announced a new family of class one radio leaded high voltage single layer ceramic disc capacitors providing a low dissipation factor and DC bias for industrial and medical markets. With a capacitance loss of under 25% at 15 kilovolts, Vichay Rotorstein's HVCC Class 1 series outperforms Class 2 capacitors by maintaining twice the stability as well as delivering less than 1% DF at 1 kilohertz, which is 0.5% lower, lower according to the announcement. Check that out. From the world of randomness, number science, and pure raw math, Anne Mahaffey, Principal Applications Engineer at Analog Devices, has written a fascinating column about random numbers in LT spice and how to include pseudo randomness and true randomness in LT spice simulations using the flat Gauss and MC functions, as well as how to use the clock to reseed the MC generator option in the hacks section of the settings panel. Truly nerdy and cool stuff here to get you deep into the weeds. So check that out. Finally, we're featuring Ephenix, which announced it has doubled its titanium family of FPGAs built on TSMC 16 and 12 nanometer process. And the company says this will accelerate data analysis, functions and enable real-time decision-making in AI applications. The expansion offers high-speed transceiver speeds up to 25.8 gigs, 64-bit RISC-V processor SOCs, and improved MIPI speeds, according to the release and the company. So that's all really exciting. That's it for this week. Make sure you look for the In Case You Missed It LinkedIn newsletter for even more stories that you don't want to miss. That comes out every single Monday after our Friday video episodes. Subscribe to that on LinkedIn, and while you're in a subscribing mood, make sure you subscribe right here to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our shows or episodes of In Case You Missed It. Visit embeddedcomputing.com for all the news that you need in the embedded computing space posted every day, and follow us on LinkedIn and all across the web so you never miss our insights, posts, or information. Please reach out if you'd like to become an advertiser or a sponsor of In Case You Missed It or any of our programs or podcasts, but for now, that's our show, and I will see you next week. I hope you have a marvelous weekend. Catch you soon.